Welcome back. Even after they're locked up, gangbangers keep on committing crimes as long as they can communicate with the outside. One very tough California prison is planning to cut those lines of communication for good. Chris Blanchford has the exclusive details in a report with pictures some may find disturbing. Inmates move about only in chains. 23 hours a day, they're locked down in cells, all located in small pods constantly monitored by a heavily armed officer nearby. It's called a special housing unit, or a SHU, known as the end of the road by 1,000 inmates who live in them here at Pelican Bay State Prison. It's a world run by prison gangs, the Mexican Mafia, Nuestra Familia, Aryan Brotherhood, and Black Guerrilla Family. Mostly, race and hatred divides them. Insiders say shot callers like the Mexican Mafia's Daryl Nighthall Baca depend on two things to run criminal organizations 800 miles away on the streets of Los Angeles. Yeah, uh, communication and uh, fear. This former Mexican Mafia yeah. associate tells it like it is. Anybody who speaks out against these people is immediately targeted by them. Targeted for assaults that too frequently end in death. The hits and other criminal orders are often sent out through the U.S. mail. Some of the letters even protected by lawyer-client confidentiality. Prison administrators are working on a new plan to stop it. If you can disrupt communications between the prison gang shot callers here inside the facility and between the prison gang shot callers and their associates out on the streets. You can disrupt their criminal organization. Come around. So correctional officers recently isolated about 200 of the worst hardcore prison gang members here into four pods located in an area called the Short Corridor. Those inmates include new Aryan Brotherhood member Donald Popeye Maza of Orange County. This I former thought, Aryan Brotherhood associate it, now, says it's a good idea. These guys are psychopaths. You know, they're righteous psychopaths. They uh, have nothing but the intent to do damage to other people. Prison officials say the short quarter cuts them off from inmate associates who are normally expected to do all their dirty work. Hits, yeah, hits. This former out, Nuestra Familia regimental commander says gang bosses are lost without associates. The associates are kind of like their limbs. They do all their, all the work for them, basically. Whereas the leadership, they're the heads. They do all the thinking and give all the orders. Like the Mexican Mafia's Ricky Cruz, doing 52 years for kidnapping, rape, robbery, and burglary. He wrote associates outside prison to smuggle in drugs. Then he was caught receiving cards and paintings dipped in methamphetamine. Also a canister of Gatorade laced with meth. It all had a street value of nearly $400,000, a lucrative drug operation dependent on communication through the U.S. mail. It's key. It's key. If there's no communication, then there's sort of an anarchy. Here in the short corridor, four correctional officers are now assigned to scrutinize all incoming and outgoing mail. Every envelope leaving the shoe. And each page of a letter is stamped to prevent inmates from communicating with each other. Lieutenant Ken Thomas. The staff at the other prison, just like the staff at our prison, are going to open that correspondence up and say, wait a minute, this stuff's coming from Pelican Bay Shoe. It's a red flag. This stamped letter from the Bay was intercepted at Chuckawalla State Prison. It contained statewide recruiting plans for the Black Gorilla family. In another case, in investigators say imprisoned mafioso Raul Leon, also known as Huero Sherm, has ordered a murder by rerouting a letter through a third person outside prison. With the new stamp system in place, to get that letter to an inmate, the outside contact would have to rewrite the letter on new paper. Gang specialist Devin Hawks. And just by doing it, would become aware and would thereby be a co-conspirator. We can prosecute. But since the outset of the short quarter project, Fox says Mexican mafia members have increased their use of legal mail by 264%. Which tells us that they are using this avenue a lot. 
Legal mail is mail sent through attorneys. Prison staff are not allowed to read it. There's a lot of decent people who probably get assaulted via uh, lawyers being used, you know. Some attorneys, whether they know it or not, are helping gangsters set up hits, drug deals, and other prison gang business by forwarding mail. Sometimes the crooks just hijack the lawyer's name on a fake letterhead. In any event, gang investigator Hawk says the only way we will bring down the prison gangs is by shutting off their communications. The short corridor, he says, is a step in the right direction. But people here on the outside need to know when they help an inmate with gang-related communications, they're helping propagate organized crime. Chris Blatchford. Fox 11 News. Next, the drug warriors, the federal agents who working with local police make thousands of arrests every year. Man, where to go? Man, where to go? Man, where to go? How agents train for this unrelenting battle, here seizing those who resist. Keep your hands up. 